Mr. Wells, Daniel Longdale. We spoke on the phone. Pleasure. I'm the Christian's attorney and one of the executors of the estate. And this is Mrs. Christian. It's an honor to meet you, ma'am. You can highly recommend Mr. Wells. I've spoken to associates of mine in Harrisburg and Lancaster and Hershey. You have friends in influential places. I've been privileged to provide services for people I admire. You're praised for your discretion and a strict adherence to confidentiality. Thank you, ma'am. Darling, as you know, my husband passed away recently. Yes, my condolences, Mrs. Christian. His passing has left me with something of a dilemma. I'll do whatever I can to help. My husband's inner sector. Not many people have been inside this room. My father worked the Pittsburgh Mill. Irving United Steel, I believe. But you attended Penn on an academic scholarship. That's right. Peers went into law and finance, but you chose surveillance. I decided it was the future. Your husband is a legend. Please. We were married 45 years. Four children, seven grandchildren. But his true passion lay in his work. But he was always loyal. I loved him deeply. I understand. Daniel, my husband was the only one with the combination to this safe. We had to hire somebody to open it for us. I prevented anyone from seeing the contents. I felt these were my husband's private things. I didn't. I didn't realize. Do you want to tell me what you found, Mrs. Christian? Cash, stock, certificates. Nothing out of the ordinary, really, except that. It's a film where a girl appears to be murdered. I'm not sure I understand. It's very realistic, to say the least. But how many people seem to be realistically killed in movies and on television every day? It begins as a relatively sleazy bit of pornography and rapidly turns quite violent and bloody. What you seem to be talking about is called a snuff film. From what I know, snuff films are a kind of urban myth. Sex industry folklore, there's, there's no such thing. That's what I explained to Mrs. Christian. This is probably an S&M film of some sort. Simulated rape, simulated violence. It's hard to stomach, but there are ways of doing it. Fake blood, special effects. Did you look at the film and give us your opinion? All I want is to know that this atrocity is false. I want the proof.
Well, <clears throat> whoever made the film was adept at authenticity. But I'm no expert. I would suggest going to the police and letting them make a determination. That would be out of the question. Uh, that would be so completely unnecessary for any number of reasons, not the least of which is Mr. Christian's reputation. We want you to find out who made this film and establish whether or not it's real. You can fairly name your price, and you'll be provided with whatever you need to purchase information. The girl's all I've got to go on. I could treat it like a missing persons case. Understood. Now, of course, we need to be assured that you would not copy or reproduce this film in any manner. You have my word on that. But I'll be dealing directly with you, Mrs. Christian, and only you. Your relationship with your attorney is your own. No offense. None taken. I, I realize you've given this careful consideration. You could have destroyed the film. Tell me the poor girl wasn't killed. Please, find her alive. I'll do the best I can, ma'am. 